Bob Wills was born James Robert Wills on March 6, 1905, an American Western swing musician, songwriter, and bandleader. Considered by music authorities as to the co-founder of Western Swing, he was known widely as the King of Western Swing. Wills formed several bands and played radio stations around the South and West until he formed the Texas Playboys in 1934. Wills favored jazz-like arrangements and the band found national popularity into the 1940s with such hits as Steel Guitar Rag, New San Antonio Rose, Smoke on the Water, Stars and Stripes on Iwo Jima, and New Spanish Two-Step. In 1950, he had two top ten hits, Ida Red Likes the Boogie and Faded Love, which were his last hits for a decade. He was born on a farm in Cosi, Limestone County, Texas to Emma Lee Foley and John Tompkins Wills. His father was a statewide champion fiddle player, and either the Wills family was playing music, in addition to raising cotton on their farm. After forming a new band, the Playboys, and relocating to Waco, Texas, Wills found enough popularity there to decide on a bigger market. They left Waco in January 1934 for Oklahoma City. Wills soon settled the renamed Texas Playboys in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and began broadcasting noon shows over the 50,000-watt KVOO radio station. By 1935, Wills had added horn and reed players as well as drums to the Playboys. The addition of steel guitar whiz Leon McAuliffe in March 1935 added not only a formidable instrumentalist but also a second engaging vocalist. Wills largely sang blues and sentimental ballads. Wills and the Texas Playboys did their first recordings on September 23-25, 1935, in Dallas. Will's 1938 recording of Ida Red served as a model for Chuck Berry's decades later version of the same song Maybelline. About this time, Will's purchased and performed with an old Guadagnini violin that had once fetched $7,600 for $1,600, the equivalent of about $24,000 in 2009. In 1940, New San Antonio Rose sold a million records and became the signature song of the Texas Playboys. The front line of Will's orchestra consisted of either fiddles or guitars after 1944. Having lived a lavish lifestyle in California, Will's moved back to Oklahoma City in 1949, then went back on the road to maintain his payroll and Will's Point. He opened a second club the Bob Wills Ranch House in Dallas, Texas. Turning the club over to managers, later revealed to be dishonest, left Wills in desperate financial straits with heavy debts to the IRS for back taxes. This caused him to sell many assets, including, mistakenly, the rights to New San Antonio Rose. It wrecked him financially. In 1950, Wills had two top 10 hits, Ida Red likes the boogie and faded love. He continued to tour and record through the 1950s into the early 1960s despite the fact that Western Swing's popularity, even in the Southwest, had greatly diminished. He appeared twice on ABC TV's Jubilee USA and kept the band on the road into the 1960s. After two heart attacks, in 1965 he dissolved the Texas Playboys to perform solo with house bands. Dot. A 1969 stroke left his right side paralyzed, ending his active career. He did, however, recover sufficiently to appear in a wheelchair at various Wills tributes held in the early 1970s. A revival of interest in his music, Spurred by Merle Haggard's 1970 album A Tribute to the Best Damn Fiddle Player in the World, led to a 1973 reunion album, Teeming Wills, who spoke with difficulty, with key members of the early band, as well as Haggard. In 1940, Wills, along with the Texas Playboys, co-starred with Tex Ritter in Take Me Back to Oklahoma. Other films followed. In December 1942, after several band members had left the group, 
and as World War II raged, Wills joined the Army at the age of 37, but he received a medical discharge in 1943. Wills also appeared in The Lone Prairie, 1942, Riders of the Northwest Mounted, 1943, The Vigilantes Ride, 1943, The Last Horseman, 1944, Blazing the Western Trail, 1945, and Lawless Empire, 1945. According to one source, he appeared in a total of 19 films. Bob Wills was married six times and divorced five times. He was twice married to and divorced from Mary Helen Brown, the widow of Will's ex-band member Milton Brown. Edna Posey married in 1926, divorced in 1935, one daughter, Robbie Jo Wills. Ruth McMaster married in 1936, divorced in 1936. Mary Helen Brown married in 1938, divorced in 1938, remarried in 1938, divorced in 1939. Mary Louise Parker married 1939, divorced 1939, one daughter, Rosetta Wills. Betty Anderson married 1942, four children, James Robert II, Carolyn, Diane, and Cindy Wills. Throughout the 1950s, he struggled with poor health and tenuous finances but continued to perform frequently despite the decline in popularity of his earlier music as rock and roll took over. Wills had a heart attack in 1962 and a second one the next year, which forced him to disband the Playboys, although Wills continued to perform solo. In 1972, Wills accepted a citation from the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers in Nashville. He was recording an album with fan Merle Haggard in 1973 when a stroke left him comatose until his death in 1975. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted Wills and the Texas Playboys in 1999. Goodbye. Bob Wills. Thank you for W watching.